Welcome back. Today's book is very special as it is an APA medal winning book, a medal which is won by very few books. Firstly, tell us few things that have you ever wonder why you like the things you like or why you sometimes do things that, well, just don't make sense. It turns out that our social side is a lot more powerful than we think. So this book named The Social Animal by Elliot Aronson is going to answer all these confusing questions about our behavior and social influence in very simple way. How celebrities can start a new fashion trend overnight, or how a catchy song gets stuck in your head for days. It's the power of social influence. Let's start. The journey into understanding the social animal begins with a fundamental realization that humans are deeply influenced by their social environment. That our behavior is not solely determined by individual traits, but is profoundly shaped by the dynamics of social interaction. Imagine you're in a classroom experiment. The teacher shows slides with lines of varying lengths, but several confident classmates insist a clearly shorter line is longer. Would you stick to your guns or doubt your own perception? Aronson's famous conformity experiments revealed that social pressure can be incredibly strong. We often conform to group opinions, even if we suspect they're wrong, to avoid social rejection. Think about the last time you wore something to fit in with a group, even if it wasn't entirely your style. Social conformity plays a big role in shaping trends and fashions. Imagine a world where everyone wore sweatpants everywhere. That might be comfortable, but it wouldn't spark much creativity or a sense of occasion, right? First thing in this phenomena is cognitive dissonance. The discomfort that arises when our beliefs or behaviors are inconsistent is a central theme in social psychology. Aronson explores how individuals strive to reduce cognitive dissonance through various means, such as changing their attitudes or rationalizing their actions. Here Aronson discusses the case of smokers who experience cognitive dissonance between their knowledge of the health risks of smoking and their behavior. Rather than quitting smoking, individuals may engage in rationalizations or justifications to reduce the discomfort of cognitive dissonance, such as minimizing the risks or denying the evidence. Next thing in this phenomena is the power of persuasion. In this Aronson delves into the tactics employed by advertisers, politicians, and cult leaders to influence the beliefs and behaviors of others. Drawing on principles of social psychology, he explores the psychological mechanisms that underlie persuasion and the factors that increase susceptibility to influence. Aronson discusses the persuasive techniques used in advertising, such as appealing to emotions, creating scarcity, and using social proof. He explains how advertisers exploit psychological biases and heuristics to sway consumer behavior, often without their conscious awareness. Social psychology doesn't shy away from exploring the darker aspects of human behavior. Frustration, competition, and social cues can all contribute to aggression. The bystander effect, where people are less likely to intervene in a situation if others are present, highlights the complex factors that influence our willingness to help. Imagine witnessing a fight on the street. If you're the only bystander, the responsibility to intervene feels heavy. But if there are several other people around, you might be less likely to act, assuming someone else will step in. While social influence is powerful, the social animal also empowers us to become more independent thinkers. Aronson also emphasizes the importance of critical thinking and questioning information before accepting it as truth. This is especially crucial in today's world of information overload and social media bubbles. Book encourages us to seek out diverse perspectives, challenge our assumptions, and make conscious choices based on our own values, not just social pressure. Understanding social psychology isn't just about academic curiosity. It can be a powerful tool for navigating our social lives, careers, and even the world around us. Imagine being a teacher who uses cooperative learning to encourage collaboration and reduce competition among students, or a marketer who designs campaigns that tap into the power of social influence and reciprocity. By understanding the social forces at play, we can become more effective communicators, 
persuasive leaders, and responsible citizens. All of these were the analysis from book. Now let's talk about the lessons we can learn from this book and change our thinking. First lesson is that we conform even when wrong. Social pressure can be strong. We often conform to group opinions, even if incorrect, to avoid feeling ostracized. Two, actions clash with beliefs, cognitive dissonance. We experience discomfort when our actions contradict our beliefs. To reduce this tension, we justify our actions or change our beliefs. Think about buying a splurge item and convincing yourself it was a good decision. Three, similarity breeds liking. We gravitate towards people who are similar to us in interests, background, and values. Shared experiences foster connection. Think about classmates with similar hobbies becoming friends. Four, proximity matters. The more we see someone, the more likely we are to like them. Repeated exposure increases a sense of familiarity and comfort. Imagine your work colleagues becoming friendly faces. Five, understanding aggression. Frustration, competition, and social cues can all influence aggressive behavior. The bystander effect highlights our hesitation to intervene when others are present. Think about witnessing a fight and feeling less likely to act if there's a crowd. Six, de-individuation and violence. In large groups, people can lose their sense of self-awareness and moral responsibility, contributing to violence at events like riots. Seven. Think for yourself, develop critical thinking skills, question information, seek diverse perspectives, and make conscious choices based on your values, not just social pressure. Hope these points will make things clear for you and will help you. Share your opinions in comments, and thanks for watching.